And there you can see on your screen, the seats are rotating for the crew. This prepares them for that splashdown. So they do brace for drogue window. Um, for entry and landing and excellent view. Great view. Drogue parachutes are deployed. You looking forward. Drogue descent rate nominal. Descent rate nominal. Copy. Again, we're going to hear a lot of comms throughout mm -hmm. this next three minutes here. This is looking forward on the Dragon spacecraft up at the chutes. Those drug parachutes are fully deployed now, so we do expect those main parachutes to deploy here shortly. If you're just joining us, we have now confirmed that the AX-4 crew on their return home is roughly two and a half minutes out from splashdown and our main chutes have deployed. Main chute descent rate nominal. Copy, main chute descent rate nominal, a thousand uh, meters for Dragon. We copy 1,000 meters. Great visual confirmation as well as those comms that the four main parachutes have deployed. Again, we are going to be slowing down the vehicle from 350 miles per hour all the way down to just about 15, 16 miles per hour by the time that the vehicle touches down and splashes down uh, into the ocean. Exactly right. You know, you mentioned these beautiful visual confirmations that we're getting. You know, an important aspect of, of today's specific splashdown is that it's occurring at, a, at night. Dragon 800. Copy, 800 meters. Commander Peggy Whitson confirming the spacecraft's altitude as it's making its descent into the Pacific Ocean just off the coast of San Diego in Southern California. Yes, love that it's coming off the coast of my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> 600 meters. 600 meters. At 600 meters, we're just under a minute before that expected splashdown. The landing in water is a lot simpler and more reliable. Uh, provides a little bit of margin uh, against unlikely parachute issues. Uh, we do learn, we did have to learn how to make Dragon waterproof as we are splashing mm -hmm. down into the ocean. Space but space. SpaceX copies 400 meters. Reminder to brace for splashdown. Oh, that's a pretty cool view. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, maintaining the vehicle's signature through things like cloud lighter and any kind of atmospheric disturbance allows us to maintain visual contact with the vehicle as it's making its final descent towards <laughs> water landing. And it's a little foggy, as you can see there. Yeah, Pacific fog um, is rolling in. <laughs> we've got some very bright lights uh, as Dragon, uh, you can see the ocean there. Dragon is about to touch down in just a few seconds here. And working their way towards the vehicle are the SpaceX and Axiom support teams that will be present uh, for the next phase of, of our splashdown coverage today. Um, at this point, we'll be waiting for uh, for confirmation of, of the crew's um, safe landing, and then we'll move into the phases of, the, of this mission, which are really, let's recover the vehicle, let's recover the crew, let's make our assessments, and at that point, we'll be covering. And we have splashdown of the AX-4 crew back on planet Earth. Welcome home. Personnel uh, positioning themselves to support in this, as well as the spacecraft making final approaches to that, to that. Now getting some great internal views of the AX-4 crew. Gravity yes. here on Earth. <laughs> so 
slightly challenging. <laughs> it's a little different in microgravity yeah. than uh, yeah. sliding out. <laughs> She is. We see Commander Peggy Whitson, all smiles, exiting the spacecraft grace. And we've got our pilot, Shubanshu Shukla, as our second crew member exiting the spacecraft. And some big smiles, as you said. India reached a major